good, y'all. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV .com. First and foremost, happy new year to all, man. Feel me? Um, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with the kid. Uh, love and success to everybody. You feel me? I just want to say everybody wins. So, 2019, man. I ain't really one of them um, new year, new me, and all the new year's resolution shits. Like, my thing is this. If we're going into a new year, it's cool, but you need to be on your ground regardless. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the year changing shouldn't change how you live life. It shouldn't change your goals. It shouldn't change, you know, the stuff you got going on. And my thing is this, man. If you wasn't grinding or making no moves before the year change, you're not going to be doing shit after the year change either. So, you feel what I'm saying? It, it's just that, that whole shit is just old to me. You feel me? But um, regardless, much love and success to everybody that's been rocking, you know, holding me down throughout the year, views, comments, good or bad, whatever, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but listen, man, I wanted to talk about this because I, I, I had to, I didn't want to jump right on it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I seen bloggers, Verb throw his tweets out, niggas drop blogs. They didn't even wait for ARP. Then when ARP dropped his tweets, now everybody, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I've never been a a view whore, so I'm not trying to be on some, one, two, a couple things with me. I've never been a view whore. I've never been the news gossip reporting guy. Like, I really just want to give my, my outlook on battles, but with the way social media is and how much stuff happens, you know, outside of the battles, now I'm starting to get into, you know, just giving my opinion on certain stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still just giving an opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not telling nobody how to move, not telling nobody how to conduct their business. You know, we all grown men at the end of the day. So how you do your thing is how you do your thing, man. You feel what I'm saying? But um, I just wanted to wait until more stuff came out before I just, you know, jumped on the opportunity to speak on it. You feel what I'm saying? One thing about me, I'm not trying to do three million blogs on one topic. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just so repetitive for me. Like, I'd rather wait till enough info comes out to, you know, really generate a, you know, solid, you know, opinion on everything. And, um, ARP versus Aver, man. Let's talk about it. You feel me? Number one, salute to um, RBE. You feel me? They... That's the fam over there. You feel me? They're always holding the trap down, putting on talent, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not just that. We just respect what they do over there. You feel me? With RBE, it's a no politics type of zone. Like, you could come over there as a new nigga on the bottom of the flyer, and then within months, you could be headlining the card, you know, based on, simply based on how you move and how you perform over there. You know what I mean? Like, it's clear, cut, and dry with them. It's no straddling the fence. It's no gray area. It's either you fire or you not. If you fire, we're going to bump you up to the next level. Plain as that. And um, I feel like for as long as RBE's been doing it, holding it down, and abiding by a strict moral compass, I feel like they deserve a lot more respect than they get. You feel me? Because... Y'all be so quick to to pit them against URL and act like they competing with URL. Listen, man, them niggas doing their own thing. If you look at their cards, right? Y'all say they competing against URL. Oftentimes, they cards are filled with the people that URL are not fucking with anymore. You feel me? Or just the niggas that um, do their own thing. You feel me? People like Cortez, people like DNA, Math, Red, you know, all of the top tiers that can't be moved by URL. Like, and that's my whole thing with this. If you commit to something as a man, you honor that word. No gray area with this, yo. I've been preaching this for the longest. Y'all niggas have got to stop giving motherfuckers room to do sucker shit. You understand? Now, I understand people saying like, oh, well, 
It was Lux. That A-verb got coming up. I, I, nobody booking Lux right now. Lux battle once every, what, couple of years or so? That man could have waited a couple more months or whatever the case may be. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't an opportunity where it's like, oh, Lux is just this big godly person that is doing all this other shit outside of battle rap and we have to be on his time, nigga. No. And there's no disrespect to Lux because to me, Lux is one of the best battlers ever. But at the same time, let's keep it a buck. Nobody has to really move on that man's time because that man is not really doing much outside of battle rap. You understand? He's doing the music here and there, but you don't really see nothing really going on with him aside from that. You understand? So I don't feel like it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I have to take this luck shit now. If I don't take it now, um, I'm not going to be able to get it later. Nah. That's not the case with this because this right here, it's a story. You understand? Verb versus Lux, it's a story behind this. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, this was going to happen regardless on any platform. You feel what I'm saying? URL just so happened to lock it in. But this is one of those battles that no matter what, it had to take place. So, this wasn't a verb missing out of opportunity. You understand? At no point. If he would have said, yo... I got this Iron Solomon battle coming up with RBE in February. Um, let's push the Lux joint back maybe a month or two. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you think URL was going to just say, well, no, we ain't booking right now? Like, come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's one thing. You know, there's certain opportunities that they're going to come around again. You feel me? Or they can be moved. But for the sake of, like I say, a moral compass... Should have just did the Iron Solomon battle. You understand what I'm saying? Um, looking at the tweets from everybody, um, you know, I feel like ARP was completely in the right. You know, um, the only thing I probably wouldn't have done was drop that trailer knowing what the last convo was as far as um yo i got the lux battle coming up sending y'all money back blah 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 if there was no communication after that as far as him being concrete on doing the iron solomon battle i wouldn't have dropped the trailer because dropping a trailer is kind of what created all of this bullshit as far as the public because once the trailer dropped that's when verb tweeted what he tweeted like oh if you don't see me talking about something or if you don't see me promoting something then i ain't got nothing to do with it or something like that and um from there things kind of spiraled out of control you know um arp said what he had to say and you know it was what it was now um, Verb saying something like that publicly ARP has to respond Why? Because He putting that out there Now it's understood that Wait a minute You know the fans looking at it like Wait Verb You're not doing the Iron Solomon battle? What the fuck happened? So now ARP has to go online Defend his brand And you know Say the stuff that he says And um You know Throughout the back and forth I didn't see anything ARP said that was disrespectful. You feel me? Not nothing that was worthy of, oh, I'm going to break your jaw when I see you. Like, you know, that kind of shit. And I was like, that shit corny. You feel what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> let's talk about booking certain battles and how business should be done when it comes to other leagues. First of all, when ARP decides to go in his pocket, set up a battle, send out deposits, get trailer footage from artists, etc., etc., he is not opted to move on URL's time. He's not opted to move on King of the Dots' time. 
You know who time they opted to move on? RBE time. You feel me? That's it. That's the only time he's um obligated to operate on. When it comes to this battle shit, everybody that books battles with pay artists has a a certain type of time that they have to move on. Meaning that if you give this artist this money, there is still a chance that if URL calls, they're going to have to back out of your battle. Shit like that makes it not fun for battle rap anymore. You understand? And the reason being is because nobody wants to be setting up battles and in the back of their mind have to worry about, damn, URL might call them and my card might get fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is funny. Funny shit is this happened um, last year on the track when we was trying to set up. We were trying to set up somebody versus Reaper Rail. And um, it's weird because when the card came out and it was seen that King of the Dot was hosting it, you know, URL staff and, and URL Dojas told URL staff that, oh, Reaper on a card uh, hosted by King of the Dot, blah, blah, blah. And they were just hosting. They wasn't dropping the footage on their channel. They were just hosting. You no, know, just being in the building, you know. But um, it, it became an issue. It became an issue. And it's just like, damn, like, do niggas have to be, are these niggas like the overseers of everything? Are these niggas like the quote-unquote God Illuminati of battle rap? Like, no league owners should have to deal with that. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you got the niggas that's running around looking for these flyers and telling motherfucking shit. And it's just like, uh, it's, it just has to be so much bullshit with booking certain names when it comes to URL. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, no league owner should have to deal with that. You understand? And it, it just makes the overall experience of Battle Rap boring. Like, it's whack. Like, back of your mind, you, you going out your pocket... Getting somebody they hard earn your hard earned money, and you still have to have that in the back of your mind. And I understand the frustration and why ARP tweeted everything that he tweeted. You understand because it don't got nothing to do with competing with them niggas. It's not pride. It's not ego. It's just like yo, I'm over here trying to do some shit, and I have to constantly battle with other motherfuckers. Um. To just keep their word. You feel what I'm saying? And my thing is this. He shouldn't have to do that. Plain and simple. He shouldn't have to do that. You feel me? Um, Y'all look at it as compete, right? When ARP goes and he books a big name battle, he is not competing with URL. He's putting a fire card he put in a fire battle on his card to build his brand. You understand? It's up to the battler to keep that commitment. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when the battler is doing certain shit, that's when it seems like, oh, so and so is competing with URL, when really, it's not. It's the battler. You understand? It's the battle that makes the choice of, all right, I'm torn between these two. What am I going to do? Thus, the battle is creating that environment, especially if ARP has his battle booked before the battle that the artist has with URL. That's not ARP fault. It's not URL fault either. You understand? It's up to the battler to keep that commitment that they made with whoever booked the battle first. You know, and um, y'all are missing that whole point. You understand? I don't get why, because it's really just a simple premise. You know, if you agree, if you agree to do something. And you take somebody's money to do something, just do it. It's that simple. You understand? I'm not, I don't, I don't think that's asking for much. For you to keep your word as a man if you agree to do something, you know. Um, now, as far as people talking about um, the whole suing thing. I see people saying some of the dumbest shit like, oh, if you sue somebody, you'll call the cops or no the fuck. Suing somebody is not the same as calling the cops on them. You feel me? It's, it's not. It's not. That's got to be the stupidest shit I ever heard. But some of you battle rap fans, I, I understand that 
Y'all never been outside before, so stuff like that, that's y'all logic, but it's like, no. No. Taking somebody to court to get their money is not the same as trying to get their freedom, because you can make the money back. You can't make the time back, you feel me? But, um, I, I completely agree with everything, you know, ARP was saying. You know, um, because me as a league owner have dealt with it. You know, the example that I, I gave y'all from the joint that happened last year, it's like, you know, and, and even with me, like, it, you know, it'd be even more frustrating when you setting these moves up with these battlers and they abiding by URL rules and it's like, URL not even booking you. Like, what the fuck? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that that's the type of shit that be going through my mind. Like, there's people that'll do this shit like, yo, uh, if URL see this, blah, 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 but these would be the same niggas not even getting booked on this. So it's like, what's the point? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, you know, it's, it's different levels to this shit, of course, because, you know, ARP obviously booked bigger battles. He got a bigger platform. So with him, it's more money at stake. You feel me? That's why he got even more of a reason to be upset. You understand? Because he got a whole card. You know, now the, the it looked like the Young L battle might potentially um fall through and, you know, all this other shit. And it's like, you just get the card to start falling apart, you know. And it's hard to get a nigga like Young L to battle. You feel what I'm saying? So, man, I, I, I completely feel like Averb was in the wrong, man. You feel what I'm saying? And as much as he is one of those people that supposedly... You know, he traveled all by himself. He down to scrap. And, you know, if you carry yourself like a man, then if you make a commitment, no amount of money, no opportunity should be able to move you from commitments that you already made. You understand? Now, um, as far as him even getting the Lux battle, let's be serious. He was not getting the Lux battle without that move battle. Plain and simple. You understand what I'm saying now? Yeah, of course, he still had to perform and do well against Mook. But the Mook that the verb that battle Mook is not the same verb that lost those last two or three RBE judge battles. Because he wasn't performing at a high level. No. ARP reached in his pocket. They went and got you one of the... No, the biggest battle of your career. To date, Mook is the biggest battle of his career. Point blank in the story. Um, they went in their pocket, got you the biggest battle of your career that would motivate you to come with your A game, that would be part of your legacy, that would be part of your battle rap story. And because you did so well in that, URL was willing to book that Lux battle. Because best believe, had they... Had that Mook battle not went down, or had you been trash against Mook, that Lux battle would not have been there, son. That Lux battle would not have been there. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's like, for a nigga to get you a shot like that, if you already made a made a commitment with that man, keep that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's, and that, for me, that's just my mindset behind that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, You know, I ain't really trying to, you know, talk y'all ears off and stuff like that, but... It's just to give y'all niggas a little bit of logic, man, because it's just the stuff I'm seeing out there. Like, y'all y'all mad at, at niggas for um trying to hold up some type of integrity. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I say about battle rap, like, it's not for the intelligent, it's not for the um for the morally um right people. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's it's just a bunch of ignorant and moral niggas in battle. You feel me? And y'all will let a lot of this shit slide. You feel what I'm saying? Like, as fans, fuck as fans. As men, how do you condone somebody committing to something and then saying they're not going to do it? Should be no straddling in the French with that. You feel what I'm saying? But as I said, man, that's just my thoughts on that. Um, You know, hopefully... The Verb and Solomon battle get done. First of all, hopefully, ARP and Verb smooth things out. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's that's first and foremost because the the relationship that they had was dope. Just off the fact that Verb comes, he do battles with RBE. RBE got him the Mook battle. Like it was one hand wash the other, both wash the face. You understand? But 
then when you look at, you know, ARP tweeted that um, Verb asked him to tweet about him versus Lux to put pressure on URL. I kind I found that kind of weird. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like, why would you need to, you know, to go through all that? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just another example of pitting the leagues against each other. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you asking one man to tweet about a battle to put foot on the next man's neck for him to hurry up and go book it. And then you got the nerve to back out of your commitment with the original man that was really responsible for you getting the battle. You understand what I'm saying? So, <sighs> another episode of where trying to be morally right in battle rap goes wrong. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, again, y'all peg ARP is looking as looking like the quote unquote hater, the quote unquote emotional one. It's just like, come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, y'all gotta stop doing this shit. Y'all gotta stop doing this shit, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta. I got y'all moral compasses got to be in place, man. The right place, they got to be in the right place. I got to stop letting these niggas get away with sucker shit, man. You feel me? But that's just my thoughts on that. I ain't mean to talk y'all ears off. No mercy. Track with Yorkshire, no mercy I'm out of here.